Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. I haven't posted in a good bit. Um, I just feel like it was not appropriate to post right now because anything I probably could have said was not very relevant to everything going on in the world right now. I decided to mute myself while amplifying black voices in the community um, over on my IG stories. I'll have a link down below to my Instagram profile and there is a highlight of everything I posted. This week has been eye-opening to say the least. I understand my privilege and I'm really embarrassed to say that this past week was the first time I realized what privilege actually meant. It really clicked when I read something that said being privileged means that you get to learn about history and learn about what's going on instead of experiencing it in your everyday life. I'll be honest, at first I felt like I needed to be silent because I just didn't want to spew out any wrong information. I feel like I just wasn't educated enough, but after listening to Black Voices in the community this past week, I realized that it really does take the privilege to stand up and speak out to make a change. I want to make it very clear to my friends, followers, and especially the Black community that I may not understand exactly what you're going through right now or what you've been through in the past, but I hear you and I stand with you. I've been complacent while growing up. I hated watching the news because I was scared. Like it just scared the crap out of me going to bed, just thinking about all those things that are happening out in the world right now. And yeah, the world is actually scary. And this past week has made me realize how important it is to actually stay informed so that we can make a change. I'm going to continue to educate myself and really pay attention to what's going on around me. I know that some of you may not have the means to donate or you may not be of age to vote yet, but I think it's so important to start by even diversifying your feeds on your social platforms, whether it's YouTube, in your subscription boxes or on Instagram in your explore feed. Like and engage with different profiles and people that don't look like you. And then just kind of like hack that algorithm so it can show more of that on your feeds. And really just like listen to what these women have to say about their past experiences. I've just learned so much on literally just Instagram and even Twitter this past week. And while I'm excited to post my content again, I really understood that this past week was a time to learn and unlearn some things honestly i'm gonna go ahead and link some accounts that i think y'all should follow down below in the description box either i have followed them for years or i just found their accounts this week but i definitely encourage you guys to just diversify your feed so with all that being said let's get into this vlog i filmed it so long ago um but i definitely wanted to get it up for you guys and let's get into it hey y'all what's up my name is sonali welcome to my channel if y'all are new Today I just wanted to start the vlog and see where it goes. I mean, I have some unboxings to do um, because in my last couple of vlogs, I swear I've admitted I have a problem with shopping and I will admit that time and time again. My mom called me and she was like, why are you buying so many hats? Like, I'm just curious. I'm like, because I need them and I want them. <laughs> like, I don't know. There was like no reason to buy the hats, especially in quarantine, but I just needed them. I was like, you don't understand. <laughs> I just clocked out of work, thought I would pick up my vlog camera because I actually put on makeup this morning and did my hair for like the first time in so freaking long. It just feels so good to, um, you know, get ready for once and just like put on a cute workout outfit. Um, later, I'm gonna go on a walk with my friend Taylor. She lives close to downtown and last time we walked from her apartment all the way to the Capitol and back and it was like a good hour and a half, but it was just like nice to get out and active, you know? The past two days, I've been working out at home and actually like sticking to a workout and I'm just like, wow, who is she? And I've been eating like really, well, maybe not really healthy, but like pretty healthy. Ryan, my boyfriend is away right now and has been away for quite a bit of time. I remember when I realized that I would be alone for this long and I actually got like super sad and like slightly angry because I was like holy crap like why are you gonna leave me for that long like I can't I can't do anything on my own like I just I just can't be alone for that long like all this stuff I was like really nervous about being home alone now I've realized that I actually enjoy being alone and it's actually really nice that he's not here right now because Right now is grad season, so I have a lot of work to do on top of my part-time job and on top of my YouTube stuff and Instagram and all of that. Like I have so much um, going on right now, so I definitely want to like focus more on like my work. And I love my boyfriend, but sometimes like he wants my attention and I'm definitely a workaholic and it sucks. But I'm always on my computer just working because I always have work to do. There's never a moment that I don't have anything to do. So I'll be honest, it is kind of nice just to be like alone. 
um, but I mean I honestly don't regret moving in with him after college because I graduated in May 2019 for all of you who don't know he did too and we moved to Austin Texas he went to UGA I went to UCF so we did long distance for four years but we're dating for like two years before that so currently we've been dating for seven years I remember when we were trying to figure out like what we we're gonna do after college we decided that we we're gonna stay at our parents houses because it was like free rent and we could save money that way so that's back in Georgia that's where we're from and so then he got a job at Oracle in Austin so that brought us here and I was like thank gosh like I did not want to move in with my parents although it probably would have definitely been like financially smarter but I was like oh my god I get to live with my boyfriend like I'm so lucky and like honestly I still think that to this day it is just the most convenient thing in the world because if you think about it even if we were to live separately I would probably be at his place like almost 24 7 or like vice versa he'd be over at mine and then we'd have to like deal with roommates and it's just like not worth it you know but i also wish that i had more years of living with girls because i think that was just such a fun time i lived in my sorority house my two the last two years of my uh, college career and it was just like literally the best time and the two years before that i lived with my best college friend but obviously here i wouldn't have known anyone to live with but do i regret moving in with my boyfriend after college absolutely not i don't regret it at all like i said it's convenient i've also always dreamed about like being a wifey and being like in the kitchen and like you know cleaning and stuff and like i know not many people dream about that kind of stuff but for some reason i've just been like obsessed with the idea of like doing things for my man and obviously it does get overwhelming with all the other things i have to do but i don't know it just feels so rewarding when i cook us a nice meal and i really just love doing it it's almost going to be a year of living in austin and it's just crazy to think that because that means like it's almost well it has been a year since i graduated college a couple of weeks ago i was on the phone with my mom and i was like damn life just like went so fast you know like i feel like i was in high school and then i was in college and then hello i'm an adult it's just crazy how life goes so fast and it's just kind of scary to be honest but speaking of moving to austin i feel like i've gotten so many dms the past couple of months from people moving to austin and like wanting advice and like you know asking me questions about the areas and stuff like that um, and I definitely want to do more videos about Austin because I know there wasn't really much out there um, to like look up on YouTube, especially because me and my boyfriend didn't visit here before we moved here. You know, why like waste the money to visit if you know you're going to just move there? I don't know. That was kind of our mentality because he already had the job. It's not like we would have said no you know so if you guys have any video suggestions about anything you want to see in austin let me know in the comments down below things are definitely opening up here we did eat at two restaurants one was pluckers and it was very eerie in there it literally looks like a hospital because obviously people were wearing masks and they took like a lot of tables away and it was just like not a very nice place to begin with so it felt like really like scary and weird but then we went to Gloria's and if you guys are from Austin or like I think they have them in Texas spread out I don't know there's like a couple in Austin so I think it's a chain but anyways Gloria's is amazing food and we went there and it was actually really nice it was like the most perfect day and we sat on the patio so it was a lot nicer because we didn't really have to see like the people with masks and be reminded of it every single second while we were eating dinner since Ryan's been away I don't really want to cook that much because I don't really know how to cook for one person um, so I actually tried out some of the pre-made meals from HEB which is our grocery store here and they are bomb and it's nice to see like the calories of how much it actually is because if I cooked it myself I probably would have put in all these extra things and not know how many calories it is and just probably like eat a lot more because it's already portioned out for you so that's been really nice and right now I'm gonna juice some fresh OJ because I have like these big ass oranges. I need to cut them up before they rot. So we're gonna do that and use my new juicer. I literally found it on Facebook Marketplace. I think it was like $35 or something. For some reason it like won't really get clean though. Like I'll literally scrub it so hard and it still looks like there's fruit residue. So if you guys have a juicer and like know how to clean it, like let me know like what I need to be doing differently. The past two times I juiced orange juice, it was like the regular oranges in the bags. So they were like a lot smaller and it just took so much time to cut off the peel because if you juice the orange with the peel, 
I did it the first time and I tried it and it was the most bitter thing ever. It was disgusting. Luckily, I only did like a little piece of orange with the peel on, but it was so freaking gross. So definitely cut the peel off. I'm very curious to see what the difference in taste is going to be between these oranges. This is like a navel orange, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, yeah, a navel orange. I don't know what the other kind of oranges were, but they were just not this big. So I only got four of these. And the last time I juiced oranges, I used two bags and it like made like a big mason jar. So I split it between me and Ryan. I like to cut it down the middle to get all this white stuff out of it. Not all of it, but just like the main thing. So I'm noticing that the peel is so much thicker on this orange that it ends up just being like a normal orange. Like this is a half and I feel like that's just a normal orange compared to like the whole thing, you know? I just pulled out my juicer. This is the Breville juice fountain. So I have all my oranges cut up. There's only like four ones. And like I said, they feel like normal size oranges, which sucks because that really fooled me. Those thick ass peels, like what the heck? But we are gonna start by, oh wait. We're gonna start by putting this here. So that is all the oranges. It actually made like a good amount. I feel like seeing it in a glass, it's gonna be like a lot. Um, so as you can see, it's like separating cause that's like all the foam. But once it like sets a little bit, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna like pretty much all look like this. Maybe not all, but a good amount. So that looks good. Now I have to clean this because I've heard it's better to clean it right then and there. And I'm just that kind of person. I like to clean things like ASAP just because I don't want to do it later you know I made the mess now so I'm gonna clean it now and it's really not that hard to clean I had to like look up some YouTube videos just because I literally did not know how to pop like this thing out this like little filter and like I don't know how to clean it I don't even know if that's clean to be honest but we're just gonna hope it's clean because I've tried to scrub it so many freaking times. But anyways, this is all the orange peels. And honestly, I wish I had like a compost, but like, I don't know what I would use it for. Like I don't live in a house, I live in an apartment. And maybe I just need to do a little bit more research on them because I, I don't really know what they're supposed to do. Like I think they help plants grow, but I don't know. Anyways. I just feel bad wasting all these peels. Okay, this is supposed to like pop right out, but it's not. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then this comes off and, oh my God, there was more juice. There was more. <laughs> yeah, this definitely makes a mess. As you can see, it's very messy, but it's fine because I just wiped the counters down right after. I let that orange juice sit while I was cleaning the dishes and this is what it looks like now. You can see how it's like separated. I'm thinking this time I want to strain the foam because I don't know, like it's probably good for you, but I wonder if it's actually like juice or foam, you know? So I kind of want to see and we're going to test it out. I have my little mason jar thing. Well, it's actually really not little. It's like huge. And then it has like this cap right here. It's so cute. I got it on Amazon and I will link them down below if you guys are wanting to check it out because I'm literally obsessed with my cups. Okay, let's see how much this fills up. I just wanna show you guys the color of this orange juice. I feel like that's more like true to color. It is a beautiful bright orange. I think this foam thing is actually working. It is so refreshing and tastes so freaking good. So I'm gonna actually put this in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna drink all of this right now. I'll probably just like leave it in the cup for like the course of like two days and drink it and sip it whenever I want to. Um, but I do need to chill this because the oranges were actually sitting out. So they were all room temperature, but so yummy. I'm headed out for my walk. I'm going to take Sophie and meet Taylor over by downtown area. And we're just going to have a really nice walk. It's supposed to be really nice outside today. It's been raining like the past like 
week or so or even more and I think it finally kind of stopped so I'm so happy about that because I just hate the rain. My hair is kind of a mess so bear with me. I just got back from my walk and I didn't take any videos because Taylor was like I'm just leaving my phone in my apartment. I don't want to have to worry about it and I was like you know what that sounds really nice. I'm gonna do the same thing and it was honestly a great idea on her part so I'm glad we did that but I'm sorry for not getting any footage but I did promise you guys an unboxing so I just went and picked up all my packages from my apartment Amazon lockers okay so this first thing is my tennis skirt I told you guys about it in like my last vlog I think first impressions I feel like the quality is really really good it feels like lemon or like something very comparable to that and I'm so excited to wear it it's like just such a cute little tennis skirt. It's very like flared and um, it's the brand Queen Neek, Queen Neek or something. And I got it in the size 12. I wonder if it's gonna fit me. Hopefully it does. Cause I'm really excited about that. I just, I ordered like these tennis skirts that were really just like straight and not very flattering. I don't know why I did that, but I guess I just didn't realize that that was like more of the style I was going for. I got some gold fill jewelry on Amazon and I, you know, thought to invest in my jewelry. So this is the first ring. I don't know if I'll be able to show it. It's like just like a flat kind of band and I got it in a size eight kind of tight <laughs> but it's okay I look like I have such chubby fingers because it's hugging it so tight but I mean it's not actually like tight tight but I, th I wonder if I'm like a eight and a half but I don't know if the website had like half sizes so I just went with the eight because I didn't want it like falling off my finger but then I got these stacked rings you can like stack them alone or together I'd probably stack them like alone so that's what that looks like. I actually got this bracelet. These are like super in style right now and I found it on Amazon. They're just these like gold bracelets. This is what it looks like on my wrist and I feel like it looks so good with like a stacked set. So I just have to invest in my stack but this was definitely like the first piece. And I have one um, bracelet from Majuri. It's just like a cuff thing. I think that's what it's called. So I have two gold pieces for bracelets. This next one is a swimsuit. I just want new swimsuits honestly and I found this high-waisted bikini and I think hmm, I'm not sure if that's the butt or the front but this is what it looks like and then the top has some padding in it it's literally just like a sports bra kind of feel so I'm hoping that one fits but I really like this color it's just like an olive green color and I got this in I want to say a large but I will have like my sizes in the comments down below with the links to all of these products just in case you guys are interested in them too. The next one is a swimsuit from Cupshe, but it was on Amazon. And it's funny because the company actually reached out to me literally this morning and I was like, that brand name sounds so familiar. So I went back to see what I just ordered. It's literally from the same brand. It's like the weirdest thing, but I love this color. And I like one pieces, they make me feel a lot more confident than bikinis, but I like that it has like the little cutout so it can show my waist a little bit. And plus this has padding in it too. And the one shoulder trend is super trendy right now. And then I got this in a large as well. Um, so I'll try to update you guys if those two swimsuits fit, but the quality on them was really good and they were really affordable. Oh, <laughs> these are iPad screen protectors. In the last vlog, I said my iPad was like literally on its deathbed, actually already dead. So I ended up ordering a new iPad. Oh frick. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I got the 11 inch, so I was like, oh my God, what if I ordered the 12.9 inch screen protector? But it's an 11 inch, so we are good on that. I feel like I ordered more rings than I got, so I'm gonna have to look at my Amazon account. I'm gonna make dinner. I honestly don't know what to make myself because I've been having like H-E-B pre-made meals, but I think I ran out. I mean, I have food to make, but I'm like, do I really wanna put in the effort to make myself something? I might make like tacos with steak and stuff, but I'm trying to eat healthy, but like tacos sounds really good, so I might do that. And then I have two steaks, so I'll possibly probably just like cook the other one for my lunch tomorrow. I decided to opt out of the tortilla just because 
you know, less carbs, but I just opened up an avocado and I swear this thing has been sitting in my refrigerator for so long, but I've been having the best luck with avocados. Like they always turn out to be perfect. When I feel them, like I swear, I think they are rotten. So what I have right now is just the steak, which honestly wasn't a lot because it was a pretty thin steak, but I think it's, it'll be fine. Um, and then I put cheese on top and I'm gonna do an avocado, salsa, and sour cream. So, you know, it, it obviously isn't probably the healthiest, but I feel like eliminating the tortilla is gonna make it a little bit healthier. Oh, and also the most important part is the lime. I love lime on my food. I literally put it on like a lot of my food. I'm using a paper plate because I really just don't feel like doing dishes because I just did them, but I'm adding the finishing touch lime and then we're ready to eat. I feel like this is actually a lot of food. The avocado made it a lot, but I think it'll be good. I just finished my dinner and my meal was really good even though I didn't have the tortilla. It didn't really taste like anything was missing, which was nice because the flavor was all still there. That is definitely one thing I learned while doing keto like literally, I don't know how many summers ago. It was so long ago, but I learned to just leave out the bread sometimes and the carbs because it literally can taste the exact same but i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm honestly not sure how much content i even have for you guys today but let me know in the comments if you guys like long vlogs or like 10 minute vlogs because i personally like like 15 to 20 minute vlogs just because it's like a tv show kind of feel and i feel like 10 minutes just goes by so fast but i also totally understand if you're one of those people that it's just like get to the freaking point so i definitely love to hear your feedback in the comments but i'm gonna go get in the shower and i'll see y'all in my next vlog bye